Welcome to After Dark Creations Art and Review. I'm Jen, your artist and fangirl, here to share my love of cult and genre films with you. I'll be reviewing films and discussing points of interest from storytelling to cinematography and iconic imagery. Then I'll break down how these films inspire and inform my art. Just a heads up, there will be spoilers. This week, I'll be reviewing the film that made you afraid to get in the water, Jaws. Jaws was released in 1975 and was directed by Steven Spielberg and is based on the novel by the same name by Peter Benchley. Jaws has a 97% score on Rotten Tomatoes and an 8 out of 10 on IMDb. This film popularized the summer blockbuster and is considered by many as a master study in horror with an intense score and creative minimalist views of the shark. Steven Spielberg created a film that taps into our collective fear of the unknown and the danger that lurks below the surface. Although the minimalistic use of the mechanical shark was due to technical difficulties, the illusion of the shark's presence through the use of barrels and the appearance of the shark's fin breaking the surface of the water greatly increased the overall tension of the film. Now let's get into the plot, so spoiler warning ahead. Jaws follows the chaos created in the wake of shark attacks that occur on the resort community of Amity Island. Chief Martin Brody, played by Roy Scheider, is tasked to hunt the man-eating shark with the help of marine biologist Matt Hooper, played by Richard Dreyfuss, and shark hunter Quint, played by Robert Shaw. Brody, Hooper, and Quint set out on Quint's boat, the Orca, to try and bring down the giant great white shark. There are some amazing, tension-filled moments in the film. The scene with Brody on the beach and the use of the dolly zoom, as well as the following scenes with the shark attacking the children in the estuary, prove incredibly effective and panic-inducing. My favorite scene of the film is actually the tension-breaking scene, where Brody, Hooper, and Quint compare scars, drink, and sing while waiting for the shark to reappear. The character development and Quint's tale of the Indianapolis were engaging and disturbing. Ultimately, the ship the Orca sinks due to the shark attack, and Quint is killed. Brody takes down the Great White by blowing up an air tank that was in the jaws of the shark. The film ends with Hooper and Brody swimming to shore as seagulls feast on the remains of the Great White. In my opinion, this movie is damn near perfect. So, let's get into how the film informs the art. I was so taken back by the scene with Brody, Hooper, and Quint on the boat sharing stories while the man-eating shark lurks below the surface that I decided to create the orca floating along the surface of the water with the only source of light being the soft glow from the windows of the ship. I created the shark swimming below the surface with its mouth partly open, ready to attack. Let me know what you love about Jaws in the comment section below. I'd love to discuss it with you further. Please share your Jaws art with me using the hashtag AfterDarkReview. If you'd like to see more of my art, you can follow the links on my social media. Until next time, I'm Jen and let's keep it spooky, friends.